Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sonia and this is Cat Crazy Creations. Um, I hope everybody is doing well and that you've had a lot of crafty, stitchy time over the last couple of weeks. Um, before I get started, I want to welcome any new viewers or anyone that has just found my channel. I hope that you like what you see and that you will consider subscribing and then hitting the notification bell that's next to it and that will let you know when um, I have a new video. And if you're returning, thank you once again for your continued support of my channel. I do appreciate it so much. Today is Sunday, July 11th, 2021. Um, today is a cross-stitch video. Um, I will alternate um, cross-stitch and crochet. Um, usually it'll be like every two weeks. So, but today you will be seeing cross-stitch. Um, my channel is a cross-stitch, crochet, little tiny bit of scrapbooking, and then just um, life updates. Um, I, on occasion, will show some pets and you might hear a bird in the background ever so often or you will see cats walking around behind me. Um, I also take care of feral cats. There is one that has been here for a long time that I take care of and there has been another one that comes off and on. So I've been taking care of that one as well. And yeah, that's pretty much what the channel is. Um, I will also do a very, very seldom, I will do haul videos and when I do get any kind of stitchy kindness then I will show that as well. So that is kind of what the channel is and like I said if you're new I hope that you will stick around and um, come along for the ride. Um, today I just have whips to show so I have made some good progress on all of them. I will be showing Nala, I will be showing Titanic, and I will be showing Raven Queen. So let's go ahead and get started. First one that I want to show is Nala from One Bike, One World. And here she is. I've made some really good progress on her. So this is where she was last time you seen her. Okay, and here she is now. So, I have pretty much, I have kept working around. I went to the other side, I've got the ear where this will be over here is an ear. I've got all the way over here, this is just background. So, I kind of stopped on that for the time being. And I came up, worked up here, so I do have an ear, and it will end right about here. It's going to start curving in, and then I'm going to be doing, this is the last part of her face, over here. And then I will come down another, you know, row of ten, and go across and finish getting her harness on her and then I think she'll be done so I'm very close this is worked on 16 count it might be 18 actually I think it's 18 count um, hand dyed Ada so yeah there she is I really, really like it. This has been my main focus. Um, 
I'm trying to get this done to give to um, Dean, the man that has the One Bike, One World, is traveling around the world, for <clears throat> him to, when he does his raffles for it's you know, fundraising so that he can um, donate to animal shelters and sanctuaries and stuff like that around the world as he travels. Um, so I was hoping to get, I'm hoping to get this done. So this has really been a focus for me as far as my rotation has kind of went out of the window so I can get this done. So I'm feeling pretty confident now that I possibly can get it done sometime this month, but fingers crossed for me that I can do that. Because then I've got to get it figured out what I'm going to do with it and get it sent. So that's going to be another amount of time. Okay, and so the next one that I worked on is Titanic. And I'm still over here, but I am making progress. Finally got all the floss that I had ran out of, and so I really started working on this just this last week. And I worked on it for three days because I was trying to, you know, get the other one accomplished. So here it is. And I'm still working up in what is going to be the lighter part of the sky. So this is right where I'm at. And I'm not going to show you a before picture because it's pretty much, it pretty much looks the same as it did before. And this is worked on 14 count black Ada. So I'm really enjoying it. You know, it's just my, just, I've got to get that other project done. And so that's kind of. Like, I'm not working on these as much as I would. And then the last one that I want to show is the Mirabilia Raven Queen. Now, this one I did make progress on. This one is really good progress. So this is what it looked like last time you've seen it. Okay, and here is what she looks like now. Okay, so I'm going to come up a little bit closer. So I finished across. I finished down here. I came up, I have started the crown. And I did put her eye, her eyes in. So I really think I did make some really good progress on this this time. So yeah, I'll work some more. Most of the rest of this is beading. So I'm waiting. I still have to do her lips. So next time I work on her, I will get the lips in. And there is some color right here that I need to get put in as well. But yeah, so that is where I'm at on her. I did, I think I, you know, made good progress because I was able to finish this down here, get the crown, and then get her eyes. This is worked on 16 count pewter Ada. 
I used all the colors that were called for. So I feel like I'm seeing light at the end of the tunnel on this one. They should be able to start beading very, very soon. I do have a question for those of you that have done Mirabilia's. Now if there is back stitching and there is back stitching like where beads would be, do you back stitch first and then do the beads or that's what I would think you would do. But I just want to verify that because I am getting close to doing the beads and I just want to make sure that that's what I should be doing. So, um, yeah, just leave it in the comments below for me. I would appreciate that. Thank you. So, there she is. Really liking how she's looking. Okay. So that is really all I have been working on. Um, like I said, my time is being taken with Nala, the cat, trying to get that done because that does have to go quite a distance in the mail. I am assuming it's going to Austria, which is where he has been quarantining because of the you know lockdown, because that's as far as he got before he got locked down. So I don't know if I'm sending it there or if I send it to his home country, which is Scotland. So the person that I am in contact with is going to give me an address where I send it when the time comes. So yeah, I've kind of got a lot to try to get done. If it doesn't get done for the raffle, then it will just go I will send it to him, to family, and he can give it, keep it or give it to whoever he wants to. So, anyway, I am making progress. Um, tomorrow, Monday, I am going to be working on um, Titanic. So what I've been doing, my rotation is different. What I've been doing is I've been working three days on Titanic. I will go to Nala. So it'll be Monday through Wednesday for Titanic, Thursday through Sunday for Nala. And then like the following week then, like next Monday, will be Raven Queen for three days and then Nala until I can get her done. So my Sunday stitching has came to a halt at this point as well. So I'm not doing my Sunday stitching or any of that right now. So that is where I'm at with all that. Okay, so the last thing is the giveaway. So for all of you that had entered, just to recap, it is for Mr. Patriotic. This is, it looks like worked on 14 count, White Ada, it's from Imaginating, Silly Snobs Designs. You will get the pattern and you will also get the remaining floss. That was left with it. So, and here is once again what it will look like. So we had nine people that were interested in it. So I will take you to a video that I took 
of me picking the winner of the chart. So here it is. Okay, I am going to draw for the winner of Mr. Patriotic um, the little cross stitch pattern that I will send floss along with. Um, we had nine people that were interested. So I'm going to go ahead and use roundup.org. So let me see, let me get this to nine and generate. And the winner is number three which is Patricia Parrish. So congratulations, Patricia. Um, please uh, make sure to send me your uh, mailing address. I will have my email in the description down below. Congratulations. Okay, and Congratulations, Patricia Parrish. Um, please send me your mailing address to my email, which will be in the description down below, and I will get this out to you soon. So thank you everyone for participating, and um, be looking for more giveaways like this. Ever now and then, I will do one. I'm starting to go through. I have got up quite a um, stash of patterns and charts and I'm kind of in kits and I'm kind of trying to go through all that to see what I really really want to stitch and stuff like that. So just you know be on the lookout for you never know when I might pop up here in one of my videos with a giveaway. So anyway I think that is it for all this for this time. Um, thank you so much for watching, subscribing, commenting, liking, and sharing my videos. I do appreciate it. Um, thank you for taking the time to watch. And I guess that is it. I will see you guys on my next video. Stay safe and take care.